I'm Lala. Recently, a friend of mine posted a video showing how he was making face shields with his 3D printer. I don't happen to own a 3D printer, but it got me to thinking. I was determined to come up with something that I could show you how to make really easily with items you have around the house, or at least with items that aren't too difficult to come by. I happen to like hats, and I have a lot of hats, but even if you don't like them, you still probably have a baseball cap around somewhere. So let me show you what kind of cap you would need. It could be any kind of cap. I like these kinds with the short bill. You could wear a regular baseball cap with that longer bill. Or a visor. Any kind of hat will work as long as it has this firm bill. Let me just go over the other items before we jump over to the tutorial. You'll need a piece of plastic. This is the kind of plastic, if you were to have something bound at Staples or the UPS store, this is what they're going to use for the cover. The other thing you need is a binder clip. So I had some of these around, but they were concaved here on the bottom, and they were really big. I also had some little pink ones that were too small. And this was just right. <laughs> this is medium size. I might use those little pink ones for my granddaughter's shields since they'll be little. Um, but this medium size is what you need. And I bought 10 of them for a buck at the Dollar Tree. You probably could get them at any dollar store, but you could definitely get them at Target and Walmart and any office supply. The other thing you need is either... 3M command strips or 3M dual lock. Either one of these will work. These are different than Velcro. Velcro might work, but I don't think it's going to be strong enough. You could probably bump it and knock your shield off. But with these, these are super strong. The difference between these and Velcro is there's no loop side. They're both hooks, so it makes for a really good bond. And this is even a little bit stronger. But there's no weight to these things, so it doesn't have to hold a lot of weight. Uh, this 3M dual lock, if you can't get it at the hardware store, there'll be a link to that below. But um, I'm pretty sure you can get this anywhere. And the last thing is a piece of elastic. This is about a quarter of an inch. And I just wanted to show you how much length you'll need. So wrap it around the back of your head and bring it around to your eyes. That should be the length that you need. And in the tutorial, I'll talk about other options instead of elastic in case this is hard to come by. Okay, let's check out the tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is fold your sheet in half without creasing it. Just leave that end open like that. You're just pulling the corners together to punch your holes. Go the same distance from the top and the side in. You don't need to go very far because this is plastic is strong enough that uh, that doesn't need to be reinforced at all. So we're going to fold it one more time without creasing it and create a center line here so we're going to know where to put our um, dual lock or command strip. Just give it a tiny little pinch just to mark that center line. And while well, we've got it before we start working on it, when you're trying it on, these little corners will be uncomfortable uh, and they'll be poking you. So let's just round those out. Now we're going to get our dual lock. And I'm using the black because it's on a black hat and because it shows up good on screen. And it's a little bit stronger than command strip. This doesn't need to be precise. I'm just putting it on top of this, the lock strip and cutting it off like that. Like I said, it happens to be just the right width for me to make two, so I'm just cutting it down the middle. So take your first piece, peel off the back, and you're gonna place this right at the top edge of the plastic and line it up with that center line you created. And just press that down. For the second piece, you're putting it right on that flat side. Just 
Let's line it up there and give it a good press. Elastic is in short supply these days. We are three weeks into the coronavirus, and in my area, Southern California, you have to wear a face mask to go out. So this elastic is like gold right now. If you can't find any, let me give you a couple of options. This is 70% nylon, 30% spandex. And this is what girls make their hair ties out of. You know, those ones that are just a little loop with a knot. That's what this stuff is. Um, for little girls, there's even smaller ones, or for little hair ties, there's smaller ones. It's really flexible and very soft, so this would be very comfortable um, if you happen to have that. I don't have very much, so I'm not using this. Another option is this clear stretch cord. I believe this is for uh, jewelry making. It's pretty thin, but it's not supporting any weight. All it is is holding the sides of your piece of plastic close to the hat. So it doesn't have to be heavy duty or anything. So I'm sure this would work really well. I just was afraid it wouldn't show up on film, but I'm gonna definitely make one out of this just to see how it looks. All right, so let's get back to this part. You have put a knot on one side and then from the inside out. The inside is the side with your hook strip on it. You're probably going to have to fold your elastic to get it through the hole. Don't make a bigger hole. Keep your hole that standard hole punch size. You want to be able to hold that knot without having to double it up. So on this side, we're going to go from the outside in. Fold my elastic to get it through the hole. And pull it way far through to make it easy to tie your knot. And it's just a simple little knot and tie it close to the end so you're not wasting any of that precious elastic. Okay, now let's put our clip on our hat. Just fold back the levers, line it up with the center of your cap, and just flip those over. So before I attach this to the shield, I want to show you one more thing. This is totally not necessary, but if you don't like the way these clips look on here and on the bottom, these come off really easily. But if you like the idea of being able to take this off and on and put it on another hat or you know share it with somebody, then you can leave that on. But if you don't want that on there, if you want to be as least conspicuous as possible, just get a pair of pliers and these come off really easy. All you got to do is grab that <laughs> and pinch it and it comes right off. If you take both of them off, you'll still be able to get this off, but it's on there pretty tight and you'll just be able to slide it off. But to get it back on, you're going to have to use something like a pliers to grab the two ends and push it on. Or, if you save this, luckily it bounced right back in front of me, if you save that, you can put this back on really easily. Just hold it down flat like this so you can get into the little holes. And put it back on. I'm going to leave them on for now, but for my hat, I'm taking them off. So with your elastic on top, just press the two pieces together. You hear that little crunchy sound? And then just fold this back. Boop. That's it. So let's try this on. You just put it on like a regular hat. Pull the elastic over the top. That's it. Does make for a little messy hair when you take it off. If you would subscribe, I would appreciate that. I also wanted to say that this project is dedicated to my friend Marae, who is going through chemotherapy right now in this most frightening of times. 
please take care of yourselves. Thanks. Bye.